Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a dev build live stream. So I'm going to be taking my ship and we're going to convert some old turrets to the new system. So I'm currently in astronaut mode and uh, this is one of my old ships. It's got some really simple turrets on the back for point defense of missiles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these things, as you can see they're old style turrets and they used to fit on this docking block just here. And there's the core. That's the Bobby AI and the weapons. So it's an old system turret, old system ship. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is just get into the ship itself, go into build mode, and then take away any of the old turrets, uh, sorry, any of the old turret or dock blocks. So I'm just going to take those away first and just leave the holes where they used to be. So that's that one, and that's that one. There you go, done. All right, now I don't want two axis of movement on these turrets. I only want them to turn around in the one axis. So this is going to be a really easy job. All I got to do is get the uh, turret, rail turret axis, and we're going to make it face forward by default. So you get the arrows pointing left. There we go. So it's left control and then mouse wheel to change, just like with all the blocks in the game. Go over to the other side, put another one here. Uh, again, with the with the arrow facing forwards. So that's the default position for the turret when it gets docked. All right, and then that that's that, that that's that part done. Um, now for the ships inside, I had one here, which at the moment there's no way to go from the top and then down a level. But what I can do is put a rail facing forwards just there what I've been doing is just putting something like that in and if the ship docks to this end it will slide forward into place where it can be undocked and you can fly it out for this one I'm actually gonna make a line going all the way out along this sort of runway launch rail I've built and we're going to put a rail all the way down it and so this is just going to be a lazy docker and I might make it so that it can take the uh, take my little shuttle out into space so let's just increase that there we go put the rails all the way up to oh god this blaster is there there we go any gaps no, there we go, good. So that means the rail is done. And what's this going to do is it's going to dock it up there. So if I just change this to a purple block, because that doesn't matter now. Right. So I'm going to push F on this, my little ship, and we'll just cover quickly the docking. So here's my little chair. It's very, very small. And at the bottom, it has a power block. So I'm going to get rid of that power block and I'm going to put the rail docker in. Rail docker will have the bottom face, so that means it's going to dock, sticking the bottom surface and then orienting the ship forwards, which is exactly what it used to do under the old system. So now I just hit T, drag the rail docker into slot one, and zap. As you can see now, it's going to start bringing this ship into the into the dock. Where's my print screen? Is it insert? No. I even changed the button, but I can't remember. This one? In we go. Little gif there. Okay, so that's done. Let me out. There we go. Now, uh, the same would apply for the cam bot. So I'm going to put a rail docker underneath. Hit T, drag the rail docker to slot one. And again, if I just fly in here, whoa, and zap it, 
and it'll bring it forward and lock it in place. Now, I could set up some rail logic, have some buttons. So if I'm sitting here, I can hit a button and it'll turn all the rails around, making them point out the ship. And then that would make this slide out to the back. So you could totally do that. That'd be easily done. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the turrets now. So we've got our rail in place. We've got our rail turret axis in place. So now we just need to actually convert the turret itself. So I'm using tab F8. I'm going F on the actual thing I want to jump into, then R, and then tab F8. And that will make me jump between the entities, as I have been doing. Right. So if what we want to stick to is an arrow pointing that way, and obviously we want to put the same thing underneath with an arrow pointing that way. Now I'm going to take the opportunity to put a layer of armour underneath the turret. So if I just do that and then remove them afterwards, you can have them stick out a little bit. Now you can make them flush if you want, it doesn't matter. So let me just put that there. I know it's a rail, but it doesn't matter. Rail dark. There we go. So do that. And obviously I need to be able to move it into place. So we'll just put a minimal thruster on it to get it to move into place if I'm out of range. Hit T. Move the rail docker to slot 2. That still works. And zap it on. And then I have... I have my turret. That works just fine. Obviously, you, you could put a bit more effort into tidying this up. It's one of the reasons I extended it out, so you can add some more hull. So, for example... Okay, probably wouldn't do that, but yeah. So you get the idea. You can actually build it out where you weren't able to before protect everything. But I want to leave this open for now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is jump in the other one and do the same thing. So it's really simple. Block under the core, rail dock underneath, get rid of the block. Oh yeah, that's right. Just in case you need to move it, remember to put on a couple of thrusters, because often you wouldn't have any thrusters in a turret. Like now, oops, well, ducker, eh, 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 and that's why I needed thrusters because I would have never braked. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, right, so now we've got. Now we've got our turret in place. Both of them are docked. So, all that's left now is the settings. So, I'm happy to announce that the weapons have been working on the turrets just great recently. So, we can demonstrate that by going turret and missile. And then I'll just quickly duck under the ship and get the other one. Turret active missiles. Get my trusty rocket launcher, and we can just show you that this would, works just fine. There they go. Okay, boom, and they shot the missile out. Now, the addition of this gap means we can tidy up these systems now, which is nice because before you couldn't really do that with the core being at the bottom. Well, you could, but, you know. Yes! Turrets shoot it down. So let's just attach ourselves to this turret. Ha! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't shoot it. <laughs> Oh well. So, if I just get a ship core, 
uh, that concludes how to convert your turrets pretty easy really um, and now I'm going to see I'm just going to do a quick test and see if my other project is still working boom this one was saved so here's one I made earlier okay so this is Metatron he's my mech he serves the Shogun and as you can see oh wow, he's got some uh, extra power there there we go power down Metatron power town there we go so here he is he's a mecha same idea as the ship down there each arm is missile defense and so is his head obviously on the neck axis so as you can see there that's how it's done and there and then you fly the body the body having rocket boots and thrusters everywhere generally speaking it does have a couple of a, a couple of things which can be activated with logic namely the fists his extended Gundam style I don't know what you call them <laughs> head ornaments I don't know but he also has this as well is it going to open there we go boom he also has that as well to fly through space with which is pretty awesome and again this guy hang on let me see if I can just go on mate ah the AI is not active so I've got to reactivate him when I load him in that's all right I think I put the uh, AI units in quite easy places to reach Let's see, where's the AI unit on his head? Could be inside his head. So one of them's on an arm, and the other one is in in the back. <laughs> it's quite random. I made this really quickly, as you can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the Bobby AIs aren't even on this version. But the point is, you fly the body and the head and the arms just target enemies on their own. It's a lot of fun. Used to have one of these a while back, but it was smaller and used the old docking system. So the arms used to flap about where they're not really able to move that way in that way. But yeah, thanks, buddy. Thanks, WW. It is actually based off of the uh, Gundam 00 riser twin drive but I took the twin drive shoulders off and then I oversized the um, I oversized the arms and the head and then I put the shogunate the, the shogunate logo <laughs> on his chest another interesting thing about this mech is that is one of two torsos that I made in the set in the same project so if I show you the other one I also have I'll have to remove the shoulders like I said but basically this body is the same as the other body so I dock the head and the arms on this one for when he's not flying along and then this guy obviously if you can see the profile on the body I, I actually I did all of that in a 3D modeling suite before converting it because I wanted to get like a mech that looked like it was flying along and uh, like I say the uh, the ring is an idea I took from the Berlin Gundam the glowing fists of course yeah Berlin Gundam <laughs> but yeah I'm hoping that once this project's done 
I'll probably have a bunch of these docked up with their fists down and stuff. So I'm going to make a mech factory with these two builds. Um, so that's where we are with that. And like I say, it's all looking really nice at the moment The uh, with the current dev build. There's a lot of cool features that are all working perfectly. And you know, I want to find out something real quick. I haven't tried this yet. What happens if I dock? What's going to happen when it gets to the end? I'm going to make a crusher. Hmm. Will it just stop when they get to the end there? Derp. <laughs> derp. 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 <laughs> Let's take away the docker. And it's free floating now. Oh my god, it's gone inside the door. <laughs> Herb. <laughs> Stupid doors. Right, so there we go, the doors are closed. I really need to sort this whole ship out. Uh, yeah, all this needs updating. Camera. Oh, wow. I've just noticed something. Is it just me or? Wait a minute. Right, this is like a Corvette or a, or, a, or a sort of little little gunboat, I guess. I'm holding my throttle down right now. I think those two turrets at the back have just completely KO'd all my flight efficiency. Look at it. Hitting the brakes now. Uh, oh boy. So maybe those mass enhancers are going to come in handy because uh, right. that's the thing mass enhancers are in at the point of recording this but they haven't actually been finished yet so I don't really want to show them off at the moment it seems like they're like helium blocks that reduce mass uh, or the effect of mass or offset the effect of mass which is obviously going to slow down things but on rails, it slows down the movement speed of the thing that's moving along the rail. But in with the turrets, um, seems like it might give a massive movement penalty. I don't know. It, I've never seen my ship move like that before. But then again, I haven't flown this ship for a while. Maybe it's just not really very good. <laughs> All right. Well... Basically, guys, uh, thanks for checking out the stream. That's pretty much everything I had to show off. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.